Thomas and Friends. The Narrow Gauge Escape. It was a horrible day on the island of Zodor. The sky was raining, the hills were muddy, and a second storm had knocked down trees in the Crosny Kern crossing. Quickly, Doctor, a tree has fallen in Crosny Kern, and there are people hurt. But I don't have any of my supplies. We already know, Doctor. The station agent told us, and Reneas is on his way to Slate Works to pick everything up. Hold still, Reneas, while we hook up the supplies truck. Slow down, Sir Handel. I still have to buckle my seatbelt. Hold on, Doc. The rain is picking up, and people are hurt in Crosny Kern, and the Hall and Dory Bridge is breaking up. Just as Sir Handel and the doctor crossed the bridge, it narrowly fell apart, nearly sweeping them both away. Quickly, call the slate works and let them know that there is a wave of water coming their way. Hurry up, Reneas. The Hohenduri Bridge broke up, and the flood is coming this way. But Reneas was old enough to know that the last time the bridge broke, all of the slate works was flooded. He yelled out orders as he quickly steamed away. Get everyone to the high ground. I'm taking the supplies down the old railroad track. Call the Krosny Kern station and let them know I'll be coming in the back way. Not many trains knew about the track of the old railway, but Reneas had traveled it many times as a young engine. He pushed through the overbrush as fast as he could, narrowly beating the water before it overtook the railway. Oh yeah! Get ready everyone! Reneas will be coming in hot, so we'll have to unload the supplies fast! All of a sudden, Reneas came bursting through the trees and crashed into the barn that had been built over the old railway track years before. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Get the supplies to the doctor and help those people. Later that evening, Mr. Percival came accompanied with the doctor to visit. Reneas, as your controller, I must say that I was concerned when I heard that you were traveling the old railway track to deliver the supplies. As was I, the doctor added. But as your friend, your experience dedication, and commitment to helping others has once again proved that you have earned the nickname Gallant Old Engine. Thank you for saving the day. And everyone clapped loudly for Reneas. Thank you, Mr. Percival, for coming to speak with me. But unfortunately, due to the branches stuck in my ears, I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> Everyone laughed out loud and gathered around to watch Mr. Percival clean up their heroic little engine. The end. Thanks for watching the Narrow Gauge Escape. If you like our show, please click the subscribe button. If you'd like to see more, click on the videos to the right. And, or if you'd like to do a specific video, comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.